Ladies, if you are not taking creatine, you're leaving muscle, energy, brain power, and aging on the table. Forget the men for a minute. This is why women need creatine the most. And I'm gonna break it down by age group because what creatine does in your body at age 20 is a whole lot different than what it does at age 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80. So ladies, I'm gonna share with you the benefits of creatine. Stick around. Creatine has been stuck in the Jim Bro supplement aisle for years. 30 years at least that I know of. But I'm gonna tell you a secret. Women actually benefit more from creatine than men do. And today I'm gonna to break down exactly how creatine helps you in every stage of life, from your 20s all the way to your 90s and beyond. Plus I'll let you know how much to take, when to take it, and a lot of the myths that are going around about creatine that just aren't true. So before we get into the age groups, let me break down exactly what creatine does. Creatine helps your body make ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. That's your body's energy currency. And it doesn't just build it in your muscles, it builds it in your brain too. So creatine helps with strength, muscle tone, energy, recovery, mood, cognition, hormone support, and it helps you to age gracefully. And here's a secret twist. Women have naturally lower creatine stores than men do. So adding creatine isn't optional, it kind of fills the gap. Let's dive into what it means for each age group. So women in their 20s are kind of in the foundational years. It's gonna help with faster recovery for workouts. It's gonna help with more lean muscle and don't worry about getting bulked up like Arnold Schwarzenegger, it won't do that. You're gonna have better cognitive performance and you're gonna have better mood stability. It's gonna help prevent overtraining fatigue if you're working out in the gym. And it's also gonna help keep hydration inside your muscles. Women in their 20s are often juggling stress, studying, working, having a terrible sleep schedule, and whatever that one toxic relationship was. Creatine kind of smooths out that energy roller coaster. Creatine in your 20s is kind of like adding power steering to a car. It just, instead of having to jerk against it, it makes it just a little bit smoother. And if you know about cars without power steering, you're probably not in your 20s. But if you are, the reason it matters in your 20s is because you're building your body up for the way it's going to perform in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. The muscle you don't rebuild now becomes the muscle you have to fight to rebuild later. So women from 30 to 40, it's kind of like the metabolism preservation decade. Creatine will help preserve muscle mass as your metabolism starts to slow down a little bit. It's gonna support easier strength training if you're doing that, better blood sugar control, improves your energy during those high stress years with kids and jobs and all that good stuff. And it's gonna help reduce some brain fog. Your 30s is kinda of when your metabolism stops being a golden retriever and starts acting more like a chihuahua. Still cute, and it still functions, but it's a little temperamental. Creatine is gonna help stabilize your strength, your mood, your energy, and your lean mass. And this becomes even more important after age 40 because it hits a little different then. So for women in their 40s, creatine kind of becomes the perimenopause lifeline. It helps counteract age-related muscle loss. It supports strength and bone density. It reduces brain fog. It supports mood and mental clarity. It improves the ability to build lean muscle. And it helps energy during perimenopause fluctuations. Your 40s are when your hormones start acting like teenagers trying to burn the house down. Creatine kind of helps stabilize all the chaos. Creatine in your 40s is kind of like adding shock absorbers to the hormonal roller coaster. It's gonna make for a little bit smoother ride. This decade is critical because your muscle loss accelerates and the creatine is gonna slow that decline dramatically. But don't worry, if you didn't start it in your 40s, it's never too late. Your 50s could be like the menopause mitochondrial rescue mission. Once menopause hits, your estrogen takes a nosedive, and that has major metabolic consequences. Creatine is going to help improve muscle retention, bone density support, in combination with strength training, of course, brain energy, mood, memory, fatigue, and even recovery. It's going to help all those things. In your 50s, creatine becomes your metabolic insurance policy. The house is still standing, but the walls need a little bit of reinforcement. Think of creatine as like a retaining wall. It keeps your muscle, your brain, and your energy from just sliding downhill. Now guess what? Ladies, in your 60s and over, creatine is your longevity powerhouse. This is actually where creatine shines the brightest. It reduces sarcopenia, which is age-related muscle loss. It improves balance. It helps prevent falls. It supports brain function, memory, and cognition. It boosts your energy, and it can help you maintain your independence. Creatine after 60 is not about looking toned. 
It's about staying strong enough to live the life that you want to live. It's the difference between needing help getting out of a chair and being able to dance at your grandkids' wedding. It's that powerful. Creatine is one of the most studied, most effective, and safest supplements for older adults. There's a ton of research that's been done on this. So now, how do you take creatine? You're gonna take three to five grams a day. One scoop of this, which is my company's creatine, is five grams. You could take a little bit less if you want to and you do not need to load it. You don't need to take more for a couple weeks. Just start with that dose and it builds up in your body. As far as the timing goes for women, the timing really doesn't matter, except you wanna wait about an hour after you have any kind of caffeine because it may affect its absorption. You can have it with food, you can have it without food, whatever works best for your schedule. You can mix it into just about any kind of drink you have, except, like I said, stay away from the caffeine for about an hour. The best timing is whatever timing you can be the most consistent with it with. And creatine monohydrate, which is what's in inner strength, is definitely the best. The best way I can explain it is for women, creatine works like filling the gas tank in your car. You don't really need to time it, you just need to keep it full. Now, I wanna get into some myths you should definitely ignore as a woman taking creatine. The first one is that creatine makes you bulky. That's wrong. Unless you're taking high doses of testosterone, you're not built for that. The second myth is creatine causes bloating. Now, you're gonna have water temporarily in the muscle, which you may gain a pound or two, but it's not gonna to go to your belly. It's hydrating your muscles, it's not gonna make you puffy. The third one is that creatine is dangerous. Creatine is one of the safest supplements ever studied. Don't know where that came from, but it's definitely a myth. And the other myth is it's only for people that lift weights. I'm gonna link my other creatine video up here and down in the description where I talk about the amazing brain benefits of creatine as well. That's for men and women. It's for anybody that wants better cognition, more energy, better aging, and better muscle retention. If that's you, it's for you whether you work out or not. Here's why women benefit more from creatine than men do. Women have lower natural creatine stores, but a higher demand during stress. It's gonna benefit you more during hormonal transitions. Women have been shown to have more cognitive improvement than men have on creatine. And there's also more improvement in strength to weight ratio than men have. So when you supplement with creatine, you actually gain more than men do. So in your 20s, build your foundation. In your 30s, preserve your metabolism. In your 40s, support perimenopause. In your 50s, fight muscle loss and brain fog. And in your 60s, enhance your longevity, your strength, and your independence. So if someone asks, when should women start creatine? The answer is yesterday. So ladies, creatine is not a gym bro supplement. It's a women's health supplement. It supports your muscles, your brain, your hormones, your energy levels, your aging process, your confidence, your strength, and your long-term independence. This is one of the few supplements for women where the research is overwhelmingly clear. Ladies, you should be taking creatine. Whether it's mine or someone else's, and I'll leave a link in the description for my creatine and a coupon code where you can get 10% off. I would love the support if you use mine, but just make sure you get a good quality, this third party tested, and it is what it says it is. And let me know in the comments, have you thought about taking creatine? Are you taking creatine now? And any other supplements y'all want me to talk about, please leave that in the comments too. So until next time, stay healthy, enjoy more benefits from creatine than the men do, and I'll see you on the next video.